Hi guys, good morning. And right now you know what I am already. Today I am at the farm and today it is the day that we are gonna do a cut. So it's a hard working day and right here you can see all the workers ready to start working. Right now it is around um, 7 a.m. here in Aswa and believe it or not, it feel a little, uh, today it feel like it's not cold because here it, it never cold but the weather is changing and it feels really good and we are in November, it's not even December and the weather is dropping, at least in the morning because by 10 a.m. but no, not even by 10, by 8 a.m. I know it will be uh, hot already so you can see over there that's my dad with our main main and the rest of the workers so I'm gonna show you every step how we do things over here to cut a platano from when they start doing uh, the cut we're gonna follow the people around a little bit cutting I mean this place is huge so I'm gonna show you step by step but I'm gonna show you a little piece by piece because this place is huge and we're gonna start at the end first and then we will be back here at the, at the top so uh, I will be back when we are ready to start so right now we are already started working the truck is here that's what we're gonna put the plantain and they are already start cutting so they are bringing the plantain back from the farm here is where we're gonna place it until we cut this bottom part we're gonna bring it from the bottom part to here and then we want to switch places because then they will have to walk up from too far to bring the platanos so we are expecting to be around um, 50 to 60 cargas. It, what we call cargas is 200 uh, plantain mega carga. So that's what we're expecting today. But uh, also, plantain they categorize in three levels when they're gonna sell it in the market. We are gonna go and take it to the market to sell it in the city in Santo Domingo. So we are calling today. They take the plantain up there to the market today to be selling tomorrow morning. So, the big platanos, that's what they make the carga. Then you have the medium-sized platanos, that they, with that they make um, rabisas, what they call rabisas. And then the little bitty ones that is on the bottom, that's what they call chillotes. So the big platanos, which are the cargas, they sell at one price. The rabisas sell another price. And the chillotes, they sell it at another price. So what price are what we are expecting at the market? At the market, platanos are right now at 12 pesos per one. That will make the carga, which is 200, about 2200. But those are the prices for the base platano. Unfortunately, and I have to be honest, our platanos are not the best of the best, so the biggest platano like uh, some other people have. So ours is like no bad, but are not the best. So, if they are around 12 pesos for one, our platano will be selling about 10 dollars, 10 pesos for one. So we should be expecting like uh, um, about 2,000 pesos for carga. And that price was for last week. Remember, today is Monday, it's just early, and we don't know how the prices are today, I mean this week, because that's what happened here. Prices be changing from one day to another one. I guess that's how markers are, I mean market are, because prices be changing. But that was the prices of last week. And I will give you an update and let you know how the prices were uh, tomorrow after we sell our platanos. But right now that's what we have. So I'm gonna show you right now, they started already working. Everybody is uh, at the end of the farm. I'm gonna go and walk over there. I'm gonna show you how they do the process. So let's go. Well, right now, if I can follow him, I'm gonna take you where they are cutting the platanos. That way you can see, as you can see, somebody's coming. Probably, I can wait on him. You see how many, how many platanos he have on his back? I won't be able to do. Well, I won't be able to do none. So <laughs> let me not even say nothing because there ain't nothing that I can do about that. But I will follow him 
uh, that way I can show you where they are cutting the platanos and he is taking after they cut it's two people cutting so after they cut they bring it down and then outside here is somebody uh, dividing them platanos between the three categories that I already told you and then accounting them he put it in the truck so let's follow this guy right here that I can show you where they are cutting the platanos so here is what they do they cut the platano they put it on the ground for the people that are picking it up to pick it up and then after they cut the platano they just cut the tree and lay it down because that that is how they keep on account the trees that are already or the yeah the trees or the plant that are already they cut their fruits and the one they still have in their fruits so immediately when they cut the the fruit they cut the the, the plant and lay it down in the ground another one that you can see it so what they do is they go um three by three see the plantain that are ready to cut they cut it and they, after they cut the fruit then they cut the the tree down and they leave it in the ground and like i said before the people that are uh Picking it up, they pass around every, um, how you call it, line or street. They pick the platanos and then they take it back to that point where we have people uh, divided them in the three different categories and then putting them in the truck. So right now, we are gonna go outside to see the next process. So here is the process where they bring the platanos. They dividing them right here. Three different categories and then someone is counting and putting in the truck and my dad is putting the numbers down Well, we already finished our job here on this side and that is 20 cargas and then we have mm, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 what they call chillotes and the other one is ravisas they haven't finished counting them now we are gonna go up to the next uh, part that they're gonna cut it started at the beginning of the uh, farm so now let's talk about a little bit about this uh, cut this is not our first cut our first cut was about two weeks ago and I didn't record it because it was just too much going on our first cut I was in um, I didn't came to prepare to record that's the truth and then was so much going on being the first cut that it was just difficult i did some recording but uh, i probably used some footage uh but it was kind of difficult so i haven't put that out yet but this is our second cut and on the first cut what we do what we did was um, i can exactly remember because i have the numbers at home but i think we did about 25 between 25 and 30 cargas uh, like I say I don't remember the exact numbers because I write it down at home but in a notebook but I have them at home so I will put the numbers down in our first cut and in that time the numbers that was still in the market that time the number was lower than right now and uh, how much did we do I know that after we did it, everything that we have to pay the workers and all that what we did in uh, in money was 40 40 thousand pesos which is close to a thousand US it's about that was about seven or eight hundred that's what we have left uh, usually in the first cut it though those that whatever win at first usually the first and second cut you don't have as many as much platano how you should have like those are the ones that win first so that one was in that a, a huge um a cut that we did and that's the sale that we have i can remember exactly how much it was sold in the market i think there was eight pesos 
export units at the market for a good platanos. It was either seven or eight pesos for a good platanos and then for the uh, rabisas, which is uh, a little smaller than the good platanos, they were still about six or five pesos. And the sack of chijotes, those are like 300, 300 pesos for the entire sack. But like I say, I will give you an exact numbers when I get back home. And in this video on the bottom, I will put you how much we did uh, sell on the first cut and how much we will be selling on this second cut. So right now they are starting working in bringing the platanos. They were here um, on the entrance of the farm. And as soon as we finish, I will record and give you an update uh, to let you know how many cargas and sacks of uh, chillotes and rabbits we did. So I will talk to you soon. So this is the end of our job here. Um, let me show you. This right here is our notes. And we ended up with... Um, 40 cargas we were expecting more but they were all not ready that's what happens sometimes you have you get more than what you were expecting and sometimes you get less and uh, the rabisas we have 1925 cargas of rabisas and then 17 sacks of Chillotes. So tomorrow I will let you know how it goes with the sales and I will that will be my day. So this is all what I have for right now. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and also share. And we'll see you in my next one. Hi guys, good morning. I just want to show you how is the market. And this is the mark the name of this market is Mercado Nuevo. Yeah this market you don't want to come over here and this is just for people that come to work this market is just not that cute like Merca Santo Domingo but here is the plaza where they sell the platano and today uh, for what I'm hearing is no a very good day because it was raining and yeah prices have been good the prices they have been selling right now is between seven and eight pesos per unit I was expecting a little bit more, but that is what the price today is selling at right now. And at this time, when it's so late, the day, I mean, today just 8, 10 in the morning, but when it's that late, or well, then they consider this too late, uh, they have to sell for whatever price people want to pretty much they can sell because as they go, the prices drop a little bit uh, more and more and more. So you have to be selling. Over there, that is our truck. And they still have some platinum, they have sold a lot, but that's what they be selling. People come and buy and they sell it. And they sell our platinum right there in the truck. So we have to wait until they sell all that and then we, um, they pay us the money. And how it work is this plaza is owned by some people, so you have to pay to be here selling them platinum in the market. So after we finish, they take their cut and they give us our money uh, but whatever the rest of the money is I will let you know at the end how much that will be so everybody come here with their trucks and they start selling so I just wanted to show you a little bit how this works and right now that is all what I have